Adriana from Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm here with my baby today to share with you a baby story time. But before we start, I'm going to remove my mask so that you can hear me and understand me just a bit better. And I want to acknowledge that I'm here on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. And we're going to start today with a facial awareness rhyme that helps your baby know the parts of their face. And it goes like this. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Next, we're gonna touch your toes. Boop, boop, boop. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. And next, we're going to pat our heads. Can you pat your head gently? There you go. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. And I have another facial awareness song for you called Eyes, Nose, Cheeky, Cheeky, Chin. And if you want, you can have baby sitting on your lap facing up at you, which is good for FaceTime with your baby. I'm just going to hold my baby and point to their face. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose. Cheeky cheeky chin, cheeky cheeky chin, eyes and nose. Let's do that one again. Yay! Eyes, nose, cheeky cheeky chin, eyes, nose, cheeky cheeky chin, eyes, nose, cheeky cheeky chin, cheeky cheeky chin, eyes and nose. Yay! And I have a little finger rhyme for you with finger puppets called Two Little Butterflies. I'm going to use these butterfly puppets that I have, but at home, you can just use your fingers like this. And it goes like this. Two little butterflies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, the other named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. And come back, Paul. Yay! Let's do that again. Two little butterflies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, the other named Paul. Fly away, Peter. And fly away, Paul. And come back, Peter. And come back, Paul. A nursery rhyme I want to share with you called Hey Diddle Diddle. And this one I'm going to share as a felt story. What is that? That's the moon. So, hey diddle diddle, the cat played the fiddle and the cow jumped over the moon. Moon. Very impressive cow. I don't think I've ever seen a cow do that. The little dog laughed <laughs> to see such a sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Goodbye. Should we do that one again? Hey, diddle diddle. The cat played the fiddle and the cow jumped over the moon. Moo! The little dog laughed. Can we laugh like a dog? <laughs> to see such a sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. The end. And I have a little rhyme for you. That's good for just closeness with your baby, but also maybe a fun one you can do if you're ever cooking in the kitchen with baby. And it goes like this. Mix the bannock, stir the bannock. We're gonna draw a circle on baby's belly. 
and pop it in the pan. And do just some nice little pats. Fry the bannock, flip the bannock, and catch it if you can. And we're gonna throw baby up. Whee! Let's do that one again. Mix the bannock, stir the bannock, pop it in the pan. Fry the bannock, flip the bannock, and catch it if you can. Woo! Now we're gonna do some lap bounces. Lap bounces are great to do with your babies because aside from just being fun, they help babies feel the underlying beat in music and rhyme. And it goes like this. Five little riders on a nice fall day hopped on their ponies and rode far away. They rode through a meadow. Do, 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 do. They rode up a hill. Woo! They rode so fast. They all took a spill. Woo! Let's do that one again. Five little riders on a nice fall day hopped on their ponies and rode far away. They galloped through a meadow. They galloped through a hill. Whoa! They galloped so fast, they all took a spill. <gasps> and I have another bouncing rhyme called We Bounce and We Stop. And when I say stop, we're going to freeze. You ready? We bounce and we bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we bounce and we stop. And we bounce and we bounce and we bounce and we stop. And we bounce that baby right to the top. Woo! Should we do that one again? And we bounce and we bounce and we bounce and we stop. And we bounce and we bounce and we bounce and we stop. And we bounce, and we bounce, and we bounce, and we stop. And we bounce that baby right to the top. Whee! And since we've tired my baby out with all that bouncing, I'm now going to sing a lullaby called On the Day You Were Born. And it goes like this. On the day you were born, I felt my heart get a little bigger. On the day you were born, I felt it swell, swell, swell. On the day you were born, I felt my heart give a little giggle. And I knew it would be a better world. That's a sweet one. We should do it again. And you may have noticed that we sing a lot of songs in our story times, and there's a reason for that. And singing helps slow down language, and babies can then hear the smaller sounds that are in word. So singing, no matter how bad you feel like you may be at it, I promise you you're just fine, actually helps your baby learn language. I thought to change it up, I would just do this one on ukulele. On the day you all the songs and rhymes I have for you today. And now I'm going to wave goodbye and sing goodbye.